Hey, happy birthday, Quinn. This video goes out to you. And for those of you watching, it's a video on basic maraca patterns. So the first thing that I want to say about the maracas is you can either do single strokes like this, or a double stroke, like so you can either get one or two notes out of the maracas. Now, there's two pitches for the maracas. There's a higher pitch, which is this one, and then a lower pitch, which is this one. And usually you want to have the higher pitch one in your dominant hand. I'm left-handed, so if you're right-handed, you're going to want to look at me like you're looking in the mirror. You're going to basically mirror yourself as you practice this. So, the first important thing is to be able to get the single stroke and double stroke happening really well. Double stroke is a little bit easier if you're doing it faster. So before we move on, it's important to get an understanding of the single and double really well. So what I do is sometimes practice going between them. That might be a little bit hard. Double stroke is a little bit easier to do. So if you do the single, just working on getting that single sound. And I think it's very much about being in the wrist or also, you, I've seen people in Cuba really use their elbows. I'm a little bit of a gringo, so I'm not that advanced at it yet, but maybe someday. Anyway, once you have those, the single and double down, you're going to want to get into a basic salsa pattern, which this is going to be the dominant hand going back, forward, back, forward, back. And this one's going to be doing the offbeats. So I'm going to get a metronome with me because it's always good to practice with a metronome. So basically to slow that down, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And for me, it's always a little bit harder to do it slow. So if you really want to practice getting it clean, it's good to get it really slow on the maracas. And so basically, sometimes I start on one and two and three and four, but you can put in a pickup like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Once you have that basic pattern down, we're going to go into the barchata pattern, which will, it sounds like this. So basically, what it is is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and thrown in with double stroke rolls. You're going to want your left hand or your dominant hand, sorry, to be on one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and then slow down. It's one and uh, it's basically two double stroke rolls. So one It's a cool to practice this a couple of times. And then so once you get that, And so once you get that, that's the Barchana pattern. The next basic pattern that I'm going to teach is the salsa pattern, which is back to the this pattern. But you, so it's a little bit faster, and you throw in a double stroke roll on the second, uh, or on the first time that you're playing with your non-dominant hand. So one, two, three, four.
kind of similar to the barchata, but you're not adding this double stroke in the in the dominant hand. Basic Moroccan patterns for you to practice. I hope you find this video helpful.